Hi everyone. Today rapid revision 2. We will be seeing a 5 more current affairs today which will be easy for you to revise and recollect the concepts you have already studied. Um, some may be new to this topic. It's okay. It is useful for you while you are preparing for the examination. Garbini. It is a mission to promote maternal and child health and to develop the prediction tools for preterm birth. To in order to avoid the, in order to reduce the prenatal mortality rate in India, this mission has been developed under Ministry of Science and Technology. Preterm birth is nothing but the birth that occurs, that occurs before, before the 37th week of pregnancy. This acronym can be asked in UPSC prelims examination and, and you can also use it while while writing uh, GS mains paper. Also this acronym, acronyms will be often loved by UPSC. So get an idea. In SAPI, it is also a mission to develop affordable vaccines for the epidemic diseases which will be covering wide areas. Okay. So it, it also comes under Ministry of Science and Technology especially under Department of Biotechnology. It is nothing but an uh, intergovernmental plan that is under SEPI coalition for epidemic preparedness innovation to develop and deploy new vaccines to curb the future epidemic diseases it is a joint collaboration effort of public private philanthropic and civil society organizations like who not civil society uh, civil society organizations like who fda welcome and many more organizations so the priority diseases are MERS, COV, LASA, NIFA, DCCX, Rift Valley Fever and Chikungunya. This priority diseases can be asked. Sometimes can be asked uh, with the options given below. It is implemented in India through BIRAC. Okay. Under a dedicated program management unit. That's all. Lotus HR. If you have not already seen this uh, acronym means it will be new to you because the... Uh, by giving this acronym, they will be asking in the prelims examination like it comes under which ministry. So you may get confused at the time. So be aware of these acronyms always. Okay. So it is local treatment for urban sewage streams for healthy reuse plant. It comes under Ministry of Science and Technology. It is nothing but a joint initiative of India and Netherlands. The first phase commenced in 2017. The second phase uh, held in the recent 2019. It is nothing but wastewater management. Okay. That is to demonstrate to demonstrate novel holistic wastewater management approach. The produced clean water will be reused for various purposes. It is nothing but a self-sustaining model for end user. Okay. So the second phase held in uh, at the Barabula drain in Delhi. It is nothing but a mission to mission to reuse the wastewaters and also it is one of the steps taken to conserve water. Due to climate change, we are facing many water scarcity problems, no? Exercise Indra is between India and Russia. Indra, you can easily remember it. it exercise uh, itself always comes under Ministry of Defense. It is nothing but the second edition of Joint Tri-Services Exercise. Earlier, it was a bilateral exercise between India and Russia held since 2003. But the first ever Tri-Services Exercise was held in 2017 under the request of a third country under United Nations Mandate. Recently, it is held in. It was held in India at four places. Make make note of it, and you can use this uh, exercise and all in uh, main answer writing paper while discussing about bilateral relations. Okay, travel and tourism competitiveness index. It is released by World Economic Forum. Most of the indices will be released by World Economic Forum, like uh, Global Gender Gap Report and all. Okay, it is uh, released once in two years. 140 economies, that is countries, uh, are taken under uh, survey. So it is, uh, they are analyzed under four sub, sub indices. They are enabling environment for tourism, travel and tourism policy, which helps in promoting tourism in their country, enabling conditions and infrastructure, which is the main uh, segment, okay, which attracts tourists towards the countries. And next, natural and cultural resources. Uh, this is must necessary for a country uh, to be attracted to be attracted by the tourist uh, recently in 2019 india has jumped to the 34th rank and uh, this is a lower middle income country which uh, ranks in the top 35 list so for the first time india has been in top uh, top 35 list spain france germany japan and uk tops the first five and uh, this time us is replaced by uk and uh, china mexico brazil also ranks in the top 35 list
next in the next session we will see again five more current affairs tomorrow till then thank you for watching this uh, video subscribe to app ias channel stay positive stay healthy and uh, keep use of it while revising or recollecting your uh, concepts or current affairs you can make use of this while you are feeling drowsy during afternoon times so till then be happy keep smiling and thank you